Will that take you back? Well, the weird weather continues. No snow this Christmas. Now, that's the first, but in exchange, we can expect some chilly, gusty winds. How about 60 miles per hour, folks? What's going on here? Those heading out for the long three-day weekend, you'll want to steer clear of the downtown corridor. We got toilets tying up traffic. It's a strange new world, Akron. Hey, this is Ray Order, WAKR. to give him a foot rub. Also, your brother called like 10 times. What are you wearing? Christmas gift. He made me wear it. You don't have to wear that. What did my brother want? He wouldn't say he was talking so fast. Something about the end is near or beer or here. The end is beer? Could that be oh, it? No, no, no. It's Armageddon again. Perfect. Go be with your family. Enjoy your children while you still have the right off. Merry Christmas. Donald. I am so sorry. Christmas time is muffin time. Why am I here waiting for you? Yes, and I'm very sorry I got here as soon as I could. Trust me. Muffins are what pays your bills. Trust that. Yes. Ah. Brand new. That's what I'm calling them. Brand new. Get it? Because it's brand and... New? I, I got clever. Yeah. And they got icing on the top and a little cherry. Brand muffins with icing? Ain't nobody doing that size of Muffin King. Boom! Boom! <laughs> This thing weighs a ton. Those are your taxes. How come you always trying to bring me down, man? This is more like War and Peace. Uh, no, well, War and Peace had a happy ending. Donald, if there were another write-off that I could find for you, trust me, I would tear apart my whole house to find it for you. Eat or be eaten. I don't, I don't. I want you to eat up the IRS, Martin. No more taxes. No more taxes. That's all I want to hear from you, Martin. No more taxes. What's going on? What, you didn't like my gift? I'm sorry, Martin, but your brother absolutely will not take no for an answer. I don't know how he's done it, but he's got every line in the office ringing at once. Go enjoy yourself, have fun at the party, I, I, I got it. Little family crisis, take me a second. This better be good, Sam. <laughs> Christmas gift to the fam.
Food, shelter. And if I don't have it, I can make it or kill it. Where's my daughter? In the house. She might even be sober by now. That is so disgusting. Just because your dad didn't kill it. My dad doesn't call dead animals art, Cordy. Could you turn that down? I'm trying to make a phone call here. Such a total moron. Hey, there you are. Is everything? Let's go. That is so Zip rude. Zip it. Oh, let me guess. Leave it, it to Beaver. In the car. Yeah. You are so weird. I can't believe we're related. Bye, Uncle Sammy Sam, Aunt Marilyn. Absolutely love what you've done with the place. And the tinfoil window dressings. Very redneck bunker chic. Loving it. Again, my apologies. It happens. Take control, Marty. The river's rising and you're going under. A little Christmas gift for you and the fam. Read it, watch it, do it. We did it. Saved our lives, of course. I was always more prepared to handle that kind of thing. You become a very scary guy, Sam. Be scary or be scared. Scaredy scared. Let's go. What happened to your nice new car? Why do you care? Sometimes you were like so pathetic. Yeah, well, sometimes you were like so grounded. Like right now. Drinking? Going off to college, and now you're drinking. No! Are you really going to listen to anything your creepy brother says? I mean, you can't say he's yanking your chain like usual. <laughs> I wasn't drinking. Hello, lewd father, come in. I don't drink. Gross. Oh, yeah? Uh, how come the cops arrested you? First of all, I wasn't arrested. I was escorted here. Second of all, it wasn't the police. OK. Go on. You sure you can handle it? Bring it. Regis and I... Oh, God, uh, Regis. Was that the, the hairy guy with the tattoos? You know what? Forget it. Can we just go home? You're not listening, and as usual, you're not here. Where's your mother? So lame. You didn't hear me? Into its belly for three days and three nights. Lights, please! And that's where he started his journey to Nineveh. You uh, have a kiss for Daddy? Ah.
Tina says we were rude and you can turn the lights back on. Okay. So, what did you and uh, Tina do today? Watch TV. Saints from the mall was on the news, but the police took him away. He looks skinny. Tina says he was a fake one. I told her we shouldn't watch so much TV, but she likes it. Have you and Tina had dinner? And where's your brother? He's keeping an eye on me. Okay. Hey, buddy. Not up. Hi, Dad. Right. Hey, I uh, was gonna make a little dinner downstairs. You hungry? Puppy's gonna come. I don't know. Soon. I just hope someone's home when they do. Here you go. I thought you'd love Franks and Beans. Splatter loves Franks and Beans. Well, what do you like to eat then? Cereal. Uh, you can't have cereal for dinner. What about Tina? Well, you definitely can't have Tina for dinner. <laughs> I think you upset her. Hey, guys. Mommy! Hey! Oh, you and Tina didn't feel like pizza, baby? What pizza? The pizza I told Lou to order. I gave him money this morning. Mm. She spent it on booze for her boyfriend. <laughs> Exaggeration, boys, Martin. I talked to her. <clears throat> wrong place, wrong time. We have all been there. I am not going to get into this with you. Come on, let's go get a Christmas tree. You know, before Christmas actually happens. Come on. Come on, kids, Christmas tree. You know a toilet fell on me today? <laughs> Tina says he's not the real Santa either. <laughs> How about this one? It's eight foot six. Perfect for a nine foot ceiling. Great. Let's grab it and go. No, 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 no. Not, not the best. Your girl made a fine choice there. That's the best tree in the lot. Come on. Show me the good stuff. Martin, let's not make a big deal. All these trees are beautiful. Just a smell. Smell it. That's a good tree. Now burn it. It's firewood. <laughs> yeah, for munchkins, maybe. Now that's the tree. I mean, Jessie's in her pajamas every day, the same ones, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> I put my money on Tina. Oh, yeah, well, and her. Jessie freaks out that I don't want to give her doll, Tina, a birthday party. And then what do I do? I cave. Oh, it was sweet. Oh, yeah, it's preposterous is what it is. $413.16. Thinking of claiming her as a dependent. Oh, there's my accountant. Always looking for a write-off. Oh, and Adam, you know, his voice could have changed by now, and I wouldn't know it, because you got to make an appointment with his door to talk to him. Buy him the stuff. Look on the bright side, babe. At least he can spell. Uh, you know, he invented a little camera. He's going around spying on us. Oh, he's just a toy. It's pretty ingenious, if you ask me. I think every family can use a MacGyver. Speaking of which, babe, you got to fix that shower. I need my shower fixed. It's weird, the whole spying thing. 
Look, if you don't like what you see, do something about it. Just, you know, take some responsibility. Take control. Oh, God. Take control. Again, everybody keeps telling me to take control. What does that even mean? Martin, try connecting with your children. How? What do you want me to do? Skype them? Text them? Tweet them? I work. Oh, here we go. So do I, Martin, raising our children. What's with all the classes? I mean, what, was, what did you take this week? Was it ceramics, dance, kung fu, interpretive baking? What, what was it tonight? I've told you several times, and as usual, you never pay attention. Uh, oh, I, I, I pay attention. People pay me to pay attention. Well, then you should know. All in all, Lou, she's a pretty good kid. Try cutting her some slack. Lights, please. <laughs> hey, you destroyed me. You were too tall. It doesn't take a genius to realize that with each passing day, we give up one more piece of control in our daily lives. We have become slaves to technology. And worst of all, our children, our future, they're unmotivated, their morals eroding in the face of uncertainty. They hopelessly walk the streets like zombies, passing through a data mushroom cloud, speaking a language we no longer understand. But rest assured, there is one last sliver of hope the three-day test. The ground rules are simple. Without discussion, turn off every utility and service coming into your house. Water, power, gas, phone, cable, satellite, all of it. Collect the cell phones, lock the windows, lock the doors, no one in, no one out for 72 hours. That is three full days. The world outside no longer exists. You're going to want to spring this on your family without warning and at the most inappropriate time, as that is how true emergencies develop. Now is the time to make that choice. Take it or be taken. Eat or be eaten, Martin. Be scary or be scared. You had me a cataclysmic, pal. All right, then. Let's get started.
world as we know it is over. This is a test. A test? What, what are you talking about? A test of survival. Boom! Sam. Been there, seen that. Not that interested. Boom! Bye. Stay. All right. For the next three days, time has stopped. Everything that we've come to depend on is gone. No water, no power, no heat. Are you out of your mind? Yes, I'm out of my mind. I'm off the hook. Speaking of which, no phones. What? Yeah, no one goes in this house, no one leaves this house for three days and three nights, 72 hours. It's freezing in here. What happened to the heat? The heat is off. If we don't make it in here, it doesn't exist. What happened to our windows? Blacked out. The cruel world stays outside. <laughs> we stay inside. You painted our windows black. Yeah. He's lost it. Happy to care his dad. Moved the whole family to North Dakota to build canoes from scratch. We're gonna build a canoe? Okay, I mean, this is about last night, right? Fine, you've made your point, okay? Now, now turn on the heat, I'll make some pancakes. We no, 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 wait, wait, this is about the last 17 years. This is, this is about finding us again. I want my family back. You sure this is where the toilet dude lives? Absolutely. That's pretty weird, huh? Maybe it hit him a little harder than they thought. Yeah, apparently. I'm smelling a bigger deal here. You know what? I hope so. I, I truly hope so. Because my parents didn't spend a hundred grand to put me through college for a uh, man gets hit by porta potty topping our news George, today. George, chill. My mama would want me. I'm not George. That doesn't feel good. Cool, cool. All right, man. What else you got on this guy? Says here the guy's an accountant. His firm does taxes. That sounds totally stressful. Okay, we're gonna be warmer sleeping together in the living room. We'd be warmer if you turned on the heat. You think you're free, don't you? I guess. No, well, you're not. You're a slave. All that stuff in your room. The oil, oil heats the house, drives your car. I don't drive, Dad. All right, where's all the camping gear? Up in the attic? I'm on it. Would that be the ton of camping gear you bought for the trip to Yellowstone that never happened there, Yogi? We got too busy to go camping. Martin, it's freezing. Yeah, well, layers. It's survival, not yoga. Yogi? Get in here, now. Take off that stupid hat. You know, um, you lose 30% of your body heat through your head. I'm not doing this, Martin. It's Christmas. You have us locked in our house. This has Sam written all over this it. This is me taking control. He said it, you say it, everyone says it. Now I'm doing it. I gotta do this now, Jackie. Just say I love you, Martin. Of course I love you. But right now, I wanna get dressed. I wanna go get a latte, do some Christmas shopping. It's Christmas. I used to love Christmas. Where did it go? <sighs> and now Christmas is just another excuse for everyone to melt their credit cards go further into debt, and then expect me to fix it. Well, I say no. No more shopping, no more showers, no more lattes, no more connectivity unless it's in person under this roof. I'm taking a stand. We are unplugging from this lunacy. No, Martin, you're plugging right into it. Kids, get dressed, we're going out. Jackie, I really need this. We need this. I can't do this for you, Martin. It's Christmas, and this is nuts. This is just you and Sam doing the same old thing. So get over it, okay? I am done with this. It is crazy. Put that stuff down. We're going out. Those think you're doing. We're here to do a story on your neighbor. Why? He's an idiot. Construction toilet fell on him yesterday. We're here to ask him the question everyone wants to know. What does it feel like to get hit by a toilet? Well, you'd better hurry then, because I've just called the cops on him. Why? 
I think he's got his family hostage in there. Jesse, go find your brother and sister and tell them we are leaving now, with or without them. You know, I haven't asked for anything in 17 years. Three days is all I ask. Is that so much to ask? Yes. You want to lock yourself in here? Fine. I've already done it. My friends have careers. I have carpools. They talk business. I can't form a sentence that doesn't end in pee-pee. You know, you want to do something really constructive? Use those tools you have on display in the garage to fix the drain in the shower before the ceiling caves in. I could have had a plumber do it six months ago, but no, you wanted to save the $538.42 by doing it yourself. Well, now it's double that and counting. Jackie, do you know what I am? I am a bean counter, okay? Day in, day out, I account for other people's lives. I never take the time to account for ours. And whose fault is that? Mine. We live in a nice house, in a nice neighborhood, on a nice block. We've got the whole package, but what do we really know? Seriously, what, what do we really know about anything? How socks get made? Ask Kara's dad. I'm sure he can knit you a pair between canoes. Ser come on, seriously. We take so much for granted. Uh, Jackie, we kind of need the water, so you might not want to. Power's out. Uh, Mark. Jesse, get in the car, please. Lou, could you open the door? What? With, like, my hands? Never mind, I got it. This is so lame. Taylor, <laughs> you know why we're here? <laughs> were you holding your family hostage inside your house? Huh? <laughs> we have reason to believe you were. Well, you heard wrong. Well, ma'am, please. No, you off. back Sorry, off. Please. Get off him now. Ma I'm going to ask you straight out. Was your husband holding you or any member of your family against her will inside that house? Well, if you... Jackie! I'm kidding. No, no, of course not. That's ridiculous. Ma'am. Now's the time for truth. Kids, get over here. The rest of you, back off. This is private property. I don't know what you think is going on here, but you're mistaken. Just move it now, all of you. Who? Who said I was holding my family hostage? Look. Who? Who was it? Look. Clearly, there's been a, a little mix-up. Oh, a little mix-up? Is that what this is? A little mix-up? Well, this is not over. I'm an accountant, and I know people who know people. Martin, down, down boy, listen. Uh, please, just take your guns and, and your big toys with all the flashing lights. Just go home, okay? We'll call it even. You heard the lady? Go home! Show's over. Go back in your houses. Eat or be eaten. Seriously, calm down. 
Hey, dude, how does it feel to get hit by a toilet falling from the sky? Jonah made it three days in a whale's belly without power and stuff. Okay. You got three days. What? Are you kidding? Three days, Martin. You want your family back? Hop in the belly. Here we are. Hop in the belly? A whale? Am I, like, totally missing something here? Are you serious? Since we can't go Christmas shopping, consider this my Christmas gift to you. That kind of stinks. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. I'm going to go make breakfast without water, power, or gas. Gum? All right. So what do you think? Okay. Oh yeah, we hang. We most definitely hang. Candles. Check. Check. Flashlights and lanterns. Uh, check. Check. Uh, you know, Adam, when the power runs out on the thing, that's it, right? Don't worry, Dad. You do it your way. I'll do mine. You know, we, we might need to start thinking about rationing the chow. Just for a... We have food, Martin. Not tons, but enough. I can make food. See? We can't eat clay, Dumbo. Tina does, Dumbo. Tina's a doll, moron. She is not, and you're whatever you just said. Oh, yeah? Enough, guys! Mmm. How do you like it so far? So lame. Oh, FYI, there's no water in the downstairs toilet if that's where you're headed. And you thank your mother for that. <clears throat> the uh, average toilet tank in every older home holds about three gallons of water. Unflushed toilet water. We've got two bathrooms. That's two times three. That's six. We're here for three Wait, days. we're six drinking times toilet six. water? Ew. Ew. Is that even healthy? Tank water. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Necessity is the mother of invention. All right. Next is firewood. Firewood. I don't think we have any outside either. You could always burn that pamphlet. Now that's funny, Lou, but that means you're thinking. Let's see. Burn furniture. Hmm. Oh, no, no. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Nah, that's Lou's, Lou's changing table. Nah, no, nah, not ready. No way. Honey, she's out of diapers. She's going to college next year. Mm, not yet. Grandpa's desk. I can't. Oh, you can. Yeah, that's hideous. I'm freezing, and uh, Grandpa, God rest his soul, is going to keep us warm. Look, the clock is dead. Some strange, ironic act of fate. The Taylor family killed time on their way to killing themselves. Oh, I like that, Lou. Very clever. Hmm. Look at the bright side. At least we'll look like runway models on our way to starvation. Yeah, if the hypothermia doesn't get us first. I've got a great idea. How about we decorate that Christmas tree? Ornaments are in the attic. I'm on it. No, no, no. Better idea. We make our own ornaments from stuff that's lying around the house. Maybe like Jesse's art supplies. That's a cool idea. So cool. Give me my phone so I can tweet it. Paper angels! Oh, that's a great idea. There's our angel. We make <laughs> stars made out of aluminum foil and strings of cranberry and popcorn. Oh, which of course we will get from the cranberry and popcorn tree in our kitchen. Come on, team. Where's the Christmas spirit? 
You think they used to make Christmas decorations out of old cheap ornaments and tacky tinsel? No, they made their own. They made their own Christmas. They went out and chopped down the tree and, and caught a wild turkey. And at night, they would dream of microwaves and iPods and a cure for smallpox. Tina likes this idea. G enough said. Tina has spoken. You're going to burn down the house, Martin. It's lit. Tina wants to know if we're gonna burn the house down. If it does, are we allowed to leave? I think the tree has spoken. Okay, check it out. How about this for a reality show? So check it out. You take like 10 smoking supermodels, you stick them on a deserted island with some blue collar guy for like a month. The guy's like a real loser. Someone like you? Man, I've done real news. I've been in the trenches. I've paid the price. I've seen stuff that you couldn't handle. I'm telling you, reality TV is the new news. Tree you see everything from the faults of man to the beauty of God's creation. And that's what's happening with you and 10 supermodels on a deserted island? Yeah. You need help. Huh. 20 years ago, did you ever think we'd be here today? Yesterday, I didn't think we'd be here today. Hmm. Even in high school, I knew I wanted to marry you. You're so beautiful. Loads of common sense, good art. You could count really well. Wait a minute. You married up. No fair. Seriously. Did you ever regret marrying me? Because I would hate to think we'd gone this far and you had any regrets. Oh, I'm not sorry I married you. I don't have any regrets. Or feeling in my toes. That's right. It's your Uncle Sam. And I want you, and you, and you, and you. Sam, get out of my house now. No problem, Jackie. We already got what we came for. I can see your zits through your mask, Gordon. My name is Nightcrawler. Oh, how appropriate, a worm. Locking yourself inside, nice, Marty. But that's only half of it. When the real battle starts, the marauders will come and they'll take your food, then they'll take your women and children to start a new you world. You touch me or my children, I'll call the cops. You can start your new world in prison. All right, Jack, Jack, come on, it's just a game. He's just trying to make it a little more realistic for us. Because that's the way it's gonna happen. Why are you such a twerp around him? Would you stand up I, for yourself? Defend your family. That's a girl. Bring it, Jackie. You're right, Marty. Right now, it's just a game. But when that day comes, there won't be any police or any phones to call him on, Jackie. Martin, do something. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, listen, Sam, the fun's over. Now, get going home. Get on, scram, let's get out. Seriously, Dad, did you grow up in like 1925? Oh, we're leaving, Marty. But just remember, night after night, they'll come in waves, night after night. Oh, I almost forgot. Sam, Sam! Ha <laughs> 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 
Come on, man, you've got this beautiful family and the best you can do to protect them is a Heideke fake rock? Maybe you're not as smart as you look. Gordon! Uh-oh, Worm. Looks like Daddy's angry. Run along like a good little soldier. Gordon! Stop! I'm coming. Is it true Uncle Sam took all our food? Well, not all of it. Don't you guys see what he's doing? Seven to ten with time off for good behavior? No. In his own weird way, he's actually trying to protect us. Mm. Well, now I'm going to try in my own weird way to protect us. Power's going back on. We are returning to Earth. You mean that same Earth with all the weird weather, random acts of violence, and bomb-crazy dictators making every day a guessing game? Jackie, I'm tired of living in the dark. All the more reason to turn on the lights. Just, well, then do it for the children. You really think beating Sam at this ridiculous game of tug of war you've been playing for 30 years is somehow going to make life better for your kids? Maybe in some weird nightmare before Christmas, E.T. castaway home alone kind of way. Yeah, I do. He's taken everything. It's freezing in here. We have nothing to eat. And your children are afraid. Come on, guys. Let's be like pioneers. Let's have an adventure. I mean, how many guys do you know that, that get to have a Christmas like this? The Pilgrims. What do you mean we got nothing to eat? We got food? There's plenty of food. See? Food. Let there be food. Not the table! Jesse's fake clay hamburgers looking pretty good right about now. You want heat? Let there be heat. <clears throat> Burn this. I'm giving you the shirt off my back, Jackie. Two more days, Martin. Make them count. <laughs> oh. Oh, careful you don't start a new fashion trend there. Oh, yeah. Shabby, shabby. Hey, um, what is A Dog Productions? That's Adam's label. Label? Yeah, he downloads music, movies, whatever, makes copies of them, and then sells them to his friends at school. Hey, isn't that illegal? Oh, come on, guys, seriously? How do you think he affords all that stuff in his room? I thought I bought it for him. Yeah, well, think again, Sherlock. Mom, seriously, I need to let Regis know I'm okay. I don't want him to worry. How can I do that? Who's, I'm a heart, who? Regis, what is it, the name? You can't remember the name? I mean, there are only two in the world, and mine isn't a hundred. I don't really care about the name. All I can see is hair and tattoos. What is it with you? And what is up with this hair thing? Regis practically shaves his head. Oh, great. He's bald and, and covered in tattoos. He's practically a convict. Next, you're going to tell me he's shoving an earring in his nose. That would be a nose ring, Martin. Nose ring. Ah, oh. That's it, that's the last step before they're gone for good. They start calling you by your first name. Dad, he doesn't have a nose ring. And his hair is short because he plays football. And he only has one little tattoo. That matches mine. Because you have a tattoo? My baby's a tattoo? Uh, is it hot in here? Martin, foot off the pedal, okay? She's pushing your buttons. Tattoos, no tattoos, boyfriends. Why don't we know any of this stuff? You're her mother. Why don't you know this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Once again, you are under the impression that handling all this stuff is all up to me. You are her father. I'm boiling hot. I'm going to go talk to her. Oh, just, sweetie, take a breath, OK? This is not an audit. She's not the IRS. Calm down. You can't go in there like a locomotive. <sighs> oh. OK. I've got this under control, I think. I'm gonna be fine. <sighs> You're 17. There is a time for everything, okay? You're gonna graduate high school this year. Next year, you go to college. 50 years from now, you're Dad, gonna... stop. You know what? I, I wanna see the tattoos. I wanna see those tattoos. Show them to me right now. Has, has Reggie seen them? Bridges. 
And seriously, you know nothing about me. You know nothing about anything except for crunching stupid numbers. You know, sometimes life isn't in the math, Dad. Look at me. Me, do you actually think I would mess up this velvety, pristine skin that I moisturize three times daily? Do you actually think I would mess that up with ink? So you don't have a tattoo? <sighs> if you have to ask, then I can't help you. Okay. I, I've, I've been somewhat derelict in my, in my duties. Nice word. Means nothing. How about we change it? How about we start talking now? I, I mean, I, we can talk about the boyfriends and tattoos and, and, and everything, the good, the bad, the ugly. For what? Three days? What's that supposed to accomplish? In four days, everything goes back to the way it was? You've had 17 years. Please leave. All right, I'll play along with your stupid game, but right now, I don't feel like talking. I'm lost. Yeah, when you start eating your old fruitcake, I agree. Lou, it's not her, it's me. I've lost her. I was not there for her. Oh, honey, don't be so hard on yourself. She's your baby girl, she's growing up, and you're worried. <laughs> Another glorious, normal phase. Exactly. Is she gonna be ready? I mean, have, have, have we really prepared her for the world, This this world? that world? Honey, she'll be fine. And speaking of lost, I can't find Adam. I've looked everywhere. What? I think he left the house. No, 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 no. He's, he's got to be around here somewhere. <clears throat> he's a good kid. He probably knows we're on to him about all this DVD stuff. And he knows we're gonna have to deal with it sooner or later. Daddy, I'm not allowed to tell, but I think Tina knows where Adam is. Where is he? Adam will get mad if I tell. So maybe Tina can tell you instead. Jesse, Tina's a doll. She, she's eight inches of cotton, plastic, and a bad wig that's gonna cost me around $10,000 and birthday parties for the next 20 years, okay? Maybe we could just talk to each other directly. Don't you think that'd be nice? Be cheaper. Tell me where your brother is. Mm. Smooth. Jesse, sweetie, I'm really sorry that I said that to you. I apologize, that was mean. Are you going to apologize to Tina? I'm sorry, Tina. I really am sorry, Tina, I, I do mean that. Okay, Tina forgives you. You're right. I ran out of juice. Will you tell me what you're doing up here? I don't know. Want a bite? Jesse, go down and tell Mom we found Adam. We'll be right down, okay? Okay. Sorry. It's okay. So. So what is this place? I don't know. Just a place. Mm -hmm. You want to tell me about the, all the DVD stuff? 
I don't know. Sure. I guess. Now, first, I just want to make sure you downloaded music and movies off the internet and sold it to your friends. I guess. But you know that's wrong and illegal. Kind of a big deal, Adam. Yeah. You know, your Uncle Sam and my dad are an awful lot alike. They like hunting and fishing and bringing home a lot of dead, smelly things. Actually hated it. I wasn't that into it, but I wanted so badly to share what they had. I, I wanted the attention that Sam had. So did you start killing stuff? I tried. Always kind of made me puke a little, but what I did do is I did things that I knew would make my dad mad. I grew my hair long, I listened to music I knew he detested, and I even stole stuff. You stole stuff? Like what? Jeans. You stole jeans? Oh, not just any jeans. Acid wash jeans. <laughs> it made him really angry. So wait, why are you mad at me if you did it too? Well, first of all, stealing is stealing, no matter how you cut it, it's wrong. But second of all, I'm not mad at you. It's my job as your dad to help you understand right from wrong. I'm thinking back to stealing those jeans. It was just a dumb kid thing to do. The bigger part of it was that I was really just trying to flag down my old man and say, I'm here too. So how do we fix it? I don't know. Got any ideas? Not really. All right, why don't you just sit here and you think about it? We'll figure it out together. I'm sorry. Me too. Yeah, you take the dumbest, weirdest looking redneck you can find in the country, right? You give him a tan, you bleach his teeth, you cut off his mullet if he has one. You put him some designer clothes, you send him on a date with a supermodel. Redneck redo. Now that's a show America will watch. Is there any idea floating around in that extremely goofy brain of yours that doesn't completely degrade women? What are you talking about? I love women. All women. What are you two screwballs still doing out here? Nothing, just hanging. You get too cold out here. Feel free to drop in for a cup of something hot to warm you up. That's nice. What was that? I'm not that old. <laughs> You're old. <laughs> Night after night, the marauders will come. Now bring it on, big brother. <laughs> Martin, hurry! What? Hey, shh, 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 what? Shh, shh, shh. Puppies! <laughs> Martin, put down the Oh, oh yes, that's right. Here we go. One, two, three, breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> sweetie, sweetie, I mean, I don't, I'm pretty sure it's not the same thing. Oh. You know, truthfully, this is a little disgusting. I don't think I'm ever gonna get pregnant. Actually, I'm okay with that. It's not disgusting, it's beautiful.
thanks for the puppies, they'll make great watchdogs. Sam. They took Tina too. She's gone. That's it, Martin. He stole our dog. Dakota. A couple days ago, I told Don Brendel that I would tear apart my own house to find a tax deduction. Then I got to thinking. <clears throat> Over 50% of my tax payments go to some part of the Department of Defense, which is around $630 billion, 2% of which goes to civil defense, which is constructing shelters and early warning systems. So then I thought, why can't this test be part of that budget and have it be deductible? So based on my salary, that deduction would end up being around $9,232.16. If Sam wants a war, we'll give him a war. But we'll have the other Uncle Sam pay for it. <laughs> this is brilliant. Oh, and uh, this test will be televised. The IRS is going to want proof of the test. It's a hole. Daddy's making booby traps, like Home Alone. Night after night, the Marauders will return. Three days and three nights. Uncle Sam's coming back, but we're gonna get to him before he gets to us. Excuse me, um, yeah, that didn't exactly work last night with your pots and pans. No, that's okay, we're not gonna be doing alarms. It's gonna be booby traps. I'm talking big booby traps, like extreme home makeover booby traps. Am I the only one seeing this here? I mean, you're talking about completely destroying our house. That is preposterous. Hey, uh, check it out. It says here the power's out all over the city. Huh? What is that? Ouch. Wind blew out everything. That's weird. A blackout. Hold on. I'm still seeing a new shower out of this, right? Oh God, we're halfway there. All Martin Taylor wanted was three days away from the maddening crowd. Three days away from the technological progress and moral regression that has put a stranglehold on today's society. But in the process, family Taylor has been invaded by the very forces they've tried to insulate themselves from. An overzealous armed forces, nosy neighbors who ridicule and point fingers. And yes, they've even been invaded by the media. They've been pushed to their limit by one of society's outcasts, Mr. Taylor's own unstable survivalist brother, Sam. Power? Who says we don't have power? With their meager provisions pillaged, their beloved pet stolen, and even one of their own, Tina, the soul of their family taken hostage. The Taylor family has endured and united in a heroic effort to fight back the tide. And yes, for better or worse, come together under one roof with a common purpose. Family Taylor do it? Can they keep afloat against an undertow so strong it is sucked into the darkness, the very society it was meant to protect and inspire? Alas, they are a metaphor for the little people, 
you and I, the faint but enduring chorus crying out for liberty and justice for all. Their voyage is our voyage. Their success is our success. Their failure is our failure. Godspeed, Taylor family. Godspeed. How'd I do? Your parents would be proud. Give us a second. Thanks. All right, guys. I know this has been a, a pretty rotten Christmas, and uh, I just wanted to let you know that after uh, taking a good, long, hard look in the mirror and checking in with you, I realize that the missing link in all this has been me. And for that, I am sorry. Now. Let's go get him. Yeah. Ow. I scratched my back. <laughs> Seriously, Marty. You can do better than that. So stupid. <laughs> Waves? Game on, Gordy. It's Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. <laughs> They're here. You're up. I'm on it. Downstairs. Roger that. Huh. Nice. Hi, Uncle Sam. So nice to see you. All right, Jess, you got me. Tina's not buying it either, Jess. <laughs> ah, ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! Oh. I'm buying that. Strike! You're going down, little brother. <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> you too, old man? I'm, I'm not that old. <laughs> You're old. <laughs> Tina! No, leave her. All right, come on. Oh, 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 that hurt. Good. Come here. Nice job. Boom. Oh. Got another player. Mm. Mm. Swell the bait. <laughs> Hit it. Better than that. Dad, 
My car is down. I'm stuck. What are you doing? I'm stuck. I'm standing right here. You can put that thing down, you dummy. We're in the middle of a battle. Get unstuck. They're dug in upstairs. Uh. Hurry, come on! Now my feet are cold. I need Nightcrawler, not Whiny the Pooh. Let's move it! Come on! Hurry! Okay, I'm coming. Wait for me. Good start, bro! <laughs> Yeah, I like your spirit. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Okay. I think I'll start with door number two. I'm gonna go a little recon. You check out the rest of the rooms down here. Really? Yes, really. Your weapon. We don't know. Orden? You're on your own now, son. <laughs> Come in, Gordy. <laughs> I'm so scared. I don't like this anymore. Dad. Will you take me out of here? <laughs> whoa, 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 no, no, stop, please, no, 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 oh, no, uh, no, yeah, uh, 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 uh. now that's art. He's all yours. I want to be on your team, Uncle Marty. Maybe next time, Gordy. Blood of my nephew, Adam. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> hey, big brother. Go long. Oh! <clears throat> Remember that, Sam? It's between you and me now. Mano a e mano. <laughs> Game on. Go, 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 go. between you and me does end tonight. The bathroom, huh? <laughs> right back where you started.
<clears throat> you know what, Marty? I'm proud of you. You finally cracked the nut and started standing up for yourself. You're right. It ends tonight. You win. Don't, don't wimp out of me now. Just surrender my weapon. Game over. I surrender. <laughs> don't just stand there. I give already. I want you to know what victory smells like, what it does to your soul. Take me down. Come on. Do it. Do it! Okay, get down. Arms up. Lower! Mm. <laughs> Hands where I can see him. Yes, sir, officer. <laughs> Survival means knowing your surroundings and playing them before they can play you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How'd you miss this? Hey, Martin! Oh, karate, those are the classes you were taking. Hey, Dad, Dad, Dad. You're tickling. Hey, tickling. Stop the tickling. Scratching. Ow. Stop it. Stop. 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 Gotcha. Shoot me? Ah, oh, that's you and Dad. I'm with Lou. I don't call dead animals art. Thanks for the gift, buddy. Love you, bro. Can I get a towel or something? I think I chipped a tooth. It makes you look cool, Gordy. You'll live. A little goofy, but what the hey? Why not? <laughs> Did I just say what the hey? <laughs> uh oh. You guys, we did it. Three days. We did the test. We did it. We made it. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Let me do that thing. I'm proud of you, kid. I'm proud of you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. 
All right, guys, get your coats on. Let's go get those dogs. Great, and get our phones. Not so fast. Better? Much better. Mmm, down, boy. You have an audience. <laughs> hey, Jesse! I got a great idea! It's all right. It's all right, dude. I got it. Reality show. This is the one. Every week, we take a family, we stick them in a house. Like this. Come here. We stick them in a house for three days, and we see what happens.